morning. Dry, Hello. beautiful. Dry. Although she looks great, slicked hair too, as we saw yesterday. Yes. But right now, we're not talking about slam dunks. We're talking no. about the latest with Kevin Spacey. The latest with Kevin Spacey, and uh, he dodged a bullet, it seems. Mm -hmm. Charges against him have been dropped in his groping case, sexual assault case that stems from a 2016 incident. That he was charged in 2017 from an 18-year-old man stemming from a bar incident in Boston, and um, the accuser pled the fifth, so wouldn't take the stand, and that meant that the prosecutors dropped the case due to, quote, the unavailability of the complaining witness. And taking the fifth means you may incriminate yourself with your testimony. Right? Exactly. That's, so that is something in the so American... that's a twist and a spin. Yeah. It, it's, it, it all comes from a cell phone that um, prosecutors are saying he wiped some information from, that the accuser wiped some information from, and they wouldn't present the cell phone as evidence. Mm. and then the accuser pled the fifth. So, Kevin Spacey, charges have been dropped in, let's be clear, this is the one and only time he has been charged. Mm -hmm. We've heard a lot of accusations around Kevin Spacey, but this was the only charge brought against him. He's still under investigation, specifically from Scotland Yard in the UK, about um, incidents, alleged incidents out of the Old Vic Theater, but this was his only charge and it has been dropped. Okay. That means he won't be making his Hollywood comeback just yet. No. I don't think that um, his Hollywood comeback is coming anytime soon. Yeah. I still think that the stain of the accusations and the number of people who have come forward to say things happen between them and Kevin Spacey is enough to tarnish him for a very long time. Yep. On to better news. Uh, yeah. Gwendolyn Christie, you may know and love her from Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. I she know you know and love her from Game of Thrones. I do. Love it. So she went and did uh, something that most people wouldn't maybe admit to. Yeah, I know. Well, it's interesting. She's come forward and said she did this. So we just had the Emmy nominations this week. Game of Thrones came away with 32 Emmy, Emmy nominations. Broke records huge. Of course, it was its final season. Mm -hmm. And Gwendolyn Christie, so how it works for Emmys or any awards consideration is um, the company, the production company, puts people forward for nominations. Well, they didn't put Gwendolyn Christie forward. They put other actors. Yep. Gwendolyn Christie paid the $225 submission fee for an, uh, a nomination. Yeah, it's only $225, though, which I don't understand. For well, I mean, let's put it into perspective. Um, She's not the only one that did this from the Game of Thrones cast. Also, Elfie Allen, who plays Theon mm -hmm. Greyjoy, and Caprice Van Houten, who plays Melisandre, the Red Woman. They also put those names forward, and they were also rewarded with nominations. Because it makes the production company look a little chintzy I, or... Hit show. Yeah, yeah I don't why think not submit it? The, the problem is, is where do you draw the line? There are so many Emmy categories. Caprice Van Houten was nominated in the guest performance in a series. So you could nominate hundreds of people. At a certain point, every organization has to draw a line at who they're putting forward. They drew the line. Gwendolyn, Alfie, and Caprice were like, I don't like that line. I'm going to be in charge of my own destiny. The internet is loving this story. The yeah. internet is uh, specifically citing Gwendolyn. She, she's a, a very statuesque woman who's a former model. Brienne of Tarth was one of the favorite characters mm -hmm. on Game of Thrones. And the internet is using this, using a hashtag saying, be your biggest cheerleader. Which I love. It's such I an empowering message. Yeah. Put it into your own hands. Yeah, Take that your, nominal your confidence feed. confidence and away you go. And it's not the first time that, you know, some people who have played lesser characters in TV shows, they've done this previously, but the thing is, she did get a nomination. So did Alfie, so did Caprice. So it's a very, very good day for those folks. And I just love those stories because sometimes she everybody gives the power over to other people. Mm -hmm. And now you realize, hey, if I get 225 bucks, I'm going to submit myself for it. Do you think the production company's cutting her a check for 225? <laughs> we'll cover this one for you now. I, I think they probably <laughs> come through the wash with that situation. She was in a hit show for eight years, so That's I think she's win. coming out okay. Even if she doesn't win, the fact that they said, yeah, we actually think you should be highlighted as a nominee, that's that's already winning right there. 100%. Yeah. And, and she also, I mean, she is an iconic character from that show. Gwendolyn will go on in terms of her career and do really interesting things because people have such a love for Brianna yeah. Parth. And it's actually just really cheap. Like, I would have thought, like, to submit for an Emmy nomination would be thousands of dollars. But as Tara said, bucks. look at all the characters in that show. And then yeah, there's yeah. the production, no, the crew, the just, directors, right? Did you, all those would, categories. did you not just in general think it would cost more to submit for an Emmy? Yeah. But with all those categories, and they yeah. also do them, like, these are the big Emmy Awards. They do them separate Emmy Awards in different states mm -hmm. all across the United States. So I think the Academy in the States is making a lot of money from just... Yeah. nomination right, fees. Right, yep. I'll say you know? Thanks, Derek. Coming up, Thanks, guys. Coming up, we're going to talk about soundtracks, the Lion King soundtrack, because there's a great history about soundtracks and the success of movies, so we kind of broke it down for you today. Soundtrack and make or break it, right? It's true. The Lion Absolutely King roars into theaters. I know. Here, to, tonight? Today.
Thursday. Or tomorrow. Yeah. Let's it's look at that. It's Thursday. Okay. It's Thursday. It's thir today? It Thursday. I think you can go tonight. Okay. All right. right now. Let's head upstairs me. to Mel. That we know we can do. I'm an entertainment expert. <laughs> if only there's something we What's can look up to find it. Now playing. Now playing. Mel, take it.